Hi everyone, welcome to How Fix It. In this video guide, I'm going to show you how to remove the liquid metal from the laptop copper heatsink, which has worked on liquid metal for four years. Also, I'll show you how to remove liquid metal from a CPU and IHS. What you're going to need. Non-abrasive polishing paste. I recommend the Flitz paste. I left a link to this paste in the description. Isopropyl alcohol from 70%. Cotton swabs and pads. Regular washing sponge, or a similar sponge with a soft and porous material, suitable for polishing. Scrape off the remaining liquid metal from the heatsink surface. Wipe the surface with a cotton swab dipped in isopropyl alcohol. Use a cotton swab with the flitz paste to remove the top coat and to prepare the surface for polishing. Apply flits to the stain you want to polish. Take a sponge and cut off a part you'll be comfortable using. Start polishing with the rough side of the sponge. Polish in a circular motion for more effective removal of liquid metal. After a few minutes of active surface polishing, remove the waste material with a cotton swab and isopropyl alcohol. Apply the paste and continue polishing until you get the desired result. Use the soft side of the sponge for the final step. So, removing the stain from the copper surface took me about seven minutes. Now you can see almost pure copper. If you have a grinding tool, you could remove the stain in a few minutes.
Wipe the surface with a cotton swab dipped in isopropyl alcohol. Liquid metal is easily removed with isopropyl alcohol. If any trace is left on your processor die, you can remove it with Flitz paste. Use a cotton swab and Flitz paste to remove liquid metal residue from the surface of the CPU silicon chip. After polishing, wipe the surface well using isopropyl alcohol. Wipe the surface with a cotton swab dipped in isopropyl alcohol. Use the soft side of the sponge to remove liquid metal from the CPU's nickel-plated cover. Remove the waste material with a cotton swab and isopropyl alcohol. If you want more information on the liquid metal, how to apply, and how often do you need to replace it, check out the links in the description. You are on how fix it. Thanks for watching, and see you in the following video.